Hi, I'm Guy Forsyth, and you are at Six String Ranch. And today, I'm gonna to teach you how to play the harmonica. I assume that you're already a guitar player, because that's probably how you got here to Six String Ranch. And I want you to imagine the scene. You're playing a gig, maybe it's a coffee house gig, maybe it's a blues gig, who knows. But right when things are starting to get good, a strange and unsavory character approaches the side of the stage, grabs you by the leg, pulls you down, and with whiskey-soaked breath says, hey, can I sit in and play harmonica? At that point, you reach into your pocket and you pull out your own harmonica and say, no, because I'm gonna play harmonica. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to do it in your own defense. So this is the most common harmonica that you will find as it's in the key of C. It's a 10-hole diatonic harmonica in the key of C. This is a, a Honer crossover harp, although there's lots of different Honer harmonicas, and there's lots of different harmonica makers as well. The Suzuki Manji is a fine harmonica. The um, uh, crossover is my go-to off-the-shelf choice right now for harmonicas. I want to show you how to hold it. You take this hand, and you're gonna stick the harmonica right in between the thumb and the forefinger, and you're gonna stretch the thumb and the forefinger toward the harp, and you're gonna make sure that these numbers that are on the front of the harmonica are on the front side, with the number one on the left and the number 10 on the right. So I hold the harmonica in my left hand, and with my right hand, I could hold it here to cup it to make sounds like but when I look at the harmonica and I see these numbers here, I'm gonna focus on the first four numbers and I'm gonna blow through the first four numbers and that's gonna make a chord. As this is a harmonica in the key of C, which I can tell because there's a C right on it. Those notes that I just played are all notes of the C chord. Now, if you don't know what goes in to make up a C chord or a major scale, those are basics of music theory, which you can find lots of other places. I'm not gonna go into it right here and now. If you don't have that information, you could go find it, or you could just follow along and see what you pick up. So if I blow through it, I get that C chord because it's in the key of C. But if I breathe in, through the same holes, I get completely different notes. You've probably held a harmonica in your hand. You've probably figured this out already. But one thing that you might not have figured out is that a lot of the harmonica music that you hear, whether it's blues or country or folk or rock, every style, uses primarily the second position. So instead of emphasizing the notes that I'm blowing into the harmonica in the first four holes, I'm emphasizing the notes that I'm drawing through, sucking through the first four holes, which are a G chord on a C harmonica. So if I'm gonna play the blues, I'm going to play the blues in the key of G with a C harmonica. So if the song's in the key of G, I want to count up G, A, B, C, to the four. I'm counting to the fourth, and that's where I find the key harmonica that I'm going to use. Even if you don't know what that means, stick with me, we're still gonna play some music. Now, I'm gonna draw in through those first four holes, and I will hear the G chord. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna learn how to make a single note. There are a lot of different ways to do this, but the way that I learned, and I think is probably the easiest to start with, is by getting a single note pucker. I'm gonna try to play one note at a time. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna change the shape of my lips. I'm gonna stick my lips out, ooh, like that, and make a little hole in the middle about the size of a pencil eraser. And then I'm going to put the harmonica inside my mouth. 
the harmonica is an unusual instrument as it's the only instrument that you play inside your body. Watch this. What you can see is how deep the harmonica is in my mouth. I'm not like this, where I'm just getting a little bit there. I'm actually pursing my lips and putting the harmonica deep inside my lips. Try to develop that single note and try to play each of the holes of the harmonica. You'll notice the harmonica has numbers on the top. So if I'm drawing in, I'm gonna to try to play the one, two, three, four. Sort of sounds like a bugle, right? When I get those single notes, now I can start talking about licks and melodies that we'll play. We'll try to play that two draw. Now sometimes when you first start playing harmonica, it might be hard to get a pure single tone and it might sound sort of like this. The trick is relaxing your mouth, getting that single note pucker and getting the harmonica deep in your mouth while you're getting the single note. The way to practice that is five minutes a number of times through the day. Do it the first thing when you get up, another time when you take a break later on the day, right before you go to sleep. So you keep coming back to it. You're gonna develop specific muscles on your lips, on your lips and on your cheeks that you'll only develop this way. So I'm playing one, two, three, four, three, two. And all of those are drawing air in. I'm drawing in because I'm playing the G chord, even though it's a C harmonica. Now let's do something a little more exciting than that. I'm gonna play a simple lick that goes like this. That's breathing in through the two, breathing in through the three, breathing out through the four, and breathing in through the four. Then, breathing in through the four, out through the four, in through the three, in through the two. Sort of like uh, when the saints go marching in. So the lick that I just showed you is in the key of G because it's a C harmonica. But if you were in a different key, how would you figure out which harmonica to use? If you were in the key of E, which harmonica would you use? Well, I was told a, a nice secret, an easy way for a guitar player to figure out which key harmonica to use for playing cross harp in. So, Find the note that the song is in on the E string, the sixth string, um, and find the note that's right next to it on the fifth string. So if you're in the key of G and you were playing the G note on the sixth string at the third fret, the fifth string on the third fret would be a C, so you'd need a C harmonica. If you were in the key of F and you were at the first fret, right next to it would be B flat, you would need a B flat harmonica. If you were in the key of E, right next to it would be A. So you would need a harmonica in the key of A. And that's how you can tell which harmonica to use to play cross harp. So now we can play our single note. So let's go back to our, our basic lick, our Oh When the Saints Go Marching In lick. That's two draw, three draw, four blow, and four draw. So once you can play those notes cleanly, it opens up 
a whole bunch of different ways that we can play them. It's not just the notes that you play, it's the sound that you make. And with the harmonica, the ways that you affect the sound are in your mouth and in your hands. So I can use my hands like this. I am cupping the harmonica with my left hand, holding it with my fingers reaching toward the end, and then with my right hand, I'm making a seal around the back of the harmonica, which makes it sound darker when it's closed. Darker and warmer, and when I take it off, it's brighter. So I play my lick. Now let's talk about another great way that we can change the sound of the harmonica. I think this is one of the things that is really at the soul of the harmonica and why it appeals to people. You can bend the notes. It's different than playing guitar because in playing guitar, when you bend the notes, you're bending them up in pitch. But on a harmonica, you're bending them down like this. So all of those first, the first sound was all on the four draw. I'm breathing in on the four draw. I've got a single note, but I'm going to change the pitch of that note by changing the shape of my mouth. Can you whistle? I'm not a very good whistler. I can sort of whistle. But I change the pitch by changing the shape inside my mouth. So when I'm playing the note on the harmonica and I'm breathing in, I'm gonna take my tongue and I'm gonna move my tongue to the back of my mouth. I'm gonna keep the tip of my tongue toward the harmonica, creating an open space toward the front of my mouth and my tongue rises in the back of my mouth. You'll have to experiment with this and as the harmonica is inside my body, it's hard to know exactly what's going on. You need to spend time with this and figure this out. Some people, about 5% of people, can do it the first time they try. Let's try. So we talked a little bit about melody. Now let's talk about rhythm. So if you're comping behind someone else while another guitar player takes a solo or while someone's singing, you don't want to play as many parts that are melodious because they get in the way of the other melody. So how can I play rhythm on the harmonica? So if I'm in the key of G and I'm using my C harmonica, I'm gonna work on the chord that's in the first four holes, one through four, because that's a G chord. And if I'm breathing in, I can change the rhythm by changing the sounds that my voice makes in the same way that I change the sound that my voice makes when I'm talking with my tongue and with my teeth. So if I say something like ta 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 into the harmonica, blowing out, it sounds like this. So that's, this is a C chord blowing through the first four holes. Ta 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 ta. And breathing in, it's the same thing. If I do that with a shuffle, a shuffle rhythm, breathing in and breathing out and breathing in. And that gives you a good basic place to start with if you're playing rhythm behind a shuffling guitar player or a band. So now you've got some basic things for your trick bag. Let's put them all together and see what they sound like. This is what we're aiming at. Pick up the harmonica, have some fun with it. Take those ideas and see how they all sound together. Like this.
So I was playing with the same rhythm technique that I was using with the chords, with the single notes, and I was bending not only on the four, but also on the three. Everything that you learn on the harmonica, you can apply all over the instrument. You can explore it and have fun with it, because really, what else is it good for? Have some fun. Well, thanks for spending some time with us here at Six String Ranch, and uh, I hope you learned a little something about the harmonica. You can find out more about Six String Ranch at sixstringranch.com, and also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which will have more videos on it, and we'll teach you more secrets, not just about harmonica, but also about guitar and other instruments. My name's Guy Forsyth. You can find out more information about me at guyforsyth.com and my channel, which is Guy Forsyth. Thank you. Thank you so much. And please remember to like this video. Otherwise, they don't feed us here on the internet. The only thing that we get fed is your liking. Please like us. Thank you.